Good morning, guys. Marcus G. Robinson uh, over here in Columbia at 5018 North Main Street. This property, uh, the last time, <laughs> the last time I, uh, I came over here was torn up pretty bad. I had just evicted a tenant. And so uh, we decided to go ahead and fix this back up get rid of the roaches and uh, get this thing back on the market. So the cleaning team, uh, they came in yesterday and did a phenomenal job. Um, and like I was saying, uh, as far as roaches go, any type of pest like that, ortho is amazing, okay? It's actually ant killer, but it works well for roaches, okay? And so, one of the things that you do when you're when you're rehabbing property is you make sure that you walk through after your contractors, walk through after your cleaning team to make sure everything was done properly. Um, and I mean, they did a good job. They did a good job. This is a four bedroom, two bath house. Uh, and so I'm trying to make some decisions on whether or not I'm gonna do a short term, make this a short term rental or uh, do something different, just a typical long-term rental. Uh, it's a fairly big house, 2,000, almost 2,000 square feet. So I have a couple more projects that we, we have to do. And so I don't know if I have time to furnish this one, but at the end of the day, you saw that first video with the roaches and the trash and everything else. Um, but we've come up. Uh, they did a really, really good job in getting this place in some type of decent shape. Um, and keep in mind, it doesn't have to be uh, anything fancy. You know, these rehabs don't have to cost a million dollars. Uh, this faucet for this price point that I'm that I'm waiting for, it works. It's a fifteen dollar faucet. You know, if you know what you're doing, you probably can get it for less than that. But keep in mind, any of these properties, you want to make sure that you do them well enough. Uh, almost well enough as if you would live in them. That's my standard. I would live in any of the properties uh, that we rehab because I believe that everyone should have good, decent, affordable housing. So as an affordable housing provider, having that mindset, that mindset has, has worked for us. So anyway, on to the next one. I have two more of these I got to go and take a look at. And uh, I'll let you know about the progress of this one. Have a good one.